Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales Pirates of Galarian. My name is Saiken and today we're joining uh, the playthrough of Extreme Difficulty on this new, brand new and great DLC. So, um, there was a bit of an altercation here with the good friends in the smugglers, in the smugglers then, and I figured, yep, might as well kill them all since they just attacked us. Uh, wasn't working optimally, but just so that you know, I still hope that we can finish our fate of Archipelion by just going back into the main uh, the main region to uh, the Re regent, um, the queen of this place. There is another cursed village uh, that we found, which will be uh, the reason uh, of our exploration for today. And I'm also finding a bit of a treasure here and there. Cool. Skill book, always welcome. Let's see what we can still upgrade. We could upgrade hardcore training to gain rage stack uh, stacks. We could upgrade the low blow uh, blackout uh, area. I think we're actually going to do that. Four meters is twice as much, so that should be a substantial upgrade. And we are taking the same troop as the last time <clears throat> and are starting to explore. So first building, just a little bit of loot. Dexterous companion. Well, that would be our assassin. One gnome to rule them all. Gets us five rubies. That's a really nice payoff. Specifically since these bad boys can be used in order to uh, create armor inlets. Yep. And the first fight is on. Let's go. Okay, as always, our main focus will be getting out of here. And how we're going to go about that is... We're going to camp this very corner. Finding our way out. Yes, please. Move on to here. We do have hardcore training, so the poison really does not affect us. And I want to make sure we're taking as little damage as possible. 60% guard is great. That's already helping us a ton. Search for the exit. Get this guy in there. And we're supporting our friend. Unfortunately, we're being uh, attacked. Yeah, that means we will have to deal with a lot of poison in the corner. It is what it is. Continuing to search the exit. Get one of them down.
make both of you orderly and continue to deal damage oh yeah that's much better that's such a nice radius very well upgrade was definitely worth it almost killed that plague ridden zombie find the way out yes please move up finish them and we're doing tactical order although we're almost out of Vela points we're trying to not get poisoned if it's not absolutely necessary oh I should have oh my bad, I should have searched for the exit with Noodle Keeper. Okay, well, that is unfortunate to say the least. Search for an exit. Could have been much further in already. Getting a Veiler. Hit this guy. And weaken him. Search for an exit. Push him back. Heal Gnome. So that we're not taking... I should have healed another one. Um, we do have uh, healing on our tank. Making a couple of easy mistakes here. Hit, hit, pop, 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 there you go, good job. We're closing the ranks and we're continuing to search. Unfortunately, we're also continuing to build up poison stacks. Uh, first of all, as everyone should do, we're searching for an exit. Those two clowns, unfortunately, I'll need to take the disengagement attack of opportunity. Searching for an exit. Getting both of you a little bit closer. Activating helmet. And one, two. Three. That was good. Searching for an exit. Uh, we're healing the ones that are most poisoned. And luckily, thanks to hardcore training, we're immune to poison. It's just such a great skill. I wish you could sometimes learn like one or two skills of the others and hardcore training, for instance, is 
obscenely good. Um... Search for exit. Heal Noodle Keeper. Keep these guys away. Or kill if possible. And we're just going to stand here supporting everybody, uh, everyone who's adjacent. Um, Search for exit. Get the plague ridden. Nice to kill it. Unfortunately, not enough Vela points to uh, do that further and further. Search for the exit. We're almost there, guys. The little difference that we're seeing could have been avoided by simply searching for the exit a bit earlier. Continuing to search for the exit. End of turn. Everybody is just highly, highly uh, intoxicated at this point. And let me take a wild guess. We're seeing like dozens of enemies come in. Yep. Uh, break. That's almost enough. There's one rat over there. But before we're going to do that, a little bit of healing. Murphy has added up six stacks of poison. Search for the exit and we're out. As always, a close one. Really difficult uh, when you're missing, I think, two on the first iteration. Oh no, that's plague infected wound. Ugh. We haven't double checked the tavern. No, we we have been in the tavern. We haven't double checked the town hall. So let's see what we're getting here. Get back, get back. Well, I assume that's a potential new companion. This time we need to exit and we need to exit quickly. Uh, how about we're holding our own over here? Not the worst idea, eh? Yep, 
think we still need to rescue her. Let's get everybody over here first. Oh, that was unnecessary. Didn't need to pick up the poison. Okay, she needs help. Like big times. Searching for a way out. We're healing her. And let's take over this guy. Plus, teach him a, a little bit of a lesson. Searching the way out. Fragility for both of you. And we good. Searching our way out. And let's give everybody here orderly. Go into the corner. Is she telling me that she's just going to stay here? No effing way. Standing here, searching the way out. Hopefully the red will engage with us. Good. First of all, searching the way out. Secondly, healing you. Thirdly, make sure that this guy does not uh, reach us. And we're standing here that supports her, meaning she takes less damage. Searching the way out. And in case of doubt, let's just engage. Almost killed them. Almost. Took some damage in return, but that's okay. Searching the way out, we're kind of 60%, 70% already there. Good, he's blackouted, so chance of missing. Pretty significant chance, actually. All right, turn. We'll 
continuing to get engaged upon. And that's okay because that'll give us extra... Extra uh, Veiler. So, move out. And I think for now, other than searching the way out, we're not doing much. What I could offer is everybody here gets technical ordered, but that didn't work because everybody already was orderly. Nice, that's not bad, but you should really try to search for the way out. Search for the way out, thank you. Heal her. Prevent this guy from coming close this round and really just support every everyone here. Good, we're breaking. I want to search the way out. Heal you. Uh, engage with you. Break up again. And re-engage. Okay, and since you are currently weakened, break up again. A little bit of a trick. And close the ranks here. Search the way out. Move over here. Challenge you three to come a little bit closer. Almost. That one didn't die, but okay. Search the way out. Yeah, no crits means we are likely not going to be able to prevent them from hitting any anyone. Um, yeah. Crits would be needed because then we would have gotten him below 50%. That was not the case. <clears throat> so just going to accept that we're being hit and hurt. Search the way out. And if we're anyway standing here, might as well. Give him a hard time. Nice little fragility. Unfortunately, not the kill. Now we're going to get warmed upon. Left, right, left, right. This guy here failed to hit, which is great. Uh, we got a plague infected wound. Not so great. So that's going to be costly. We definitely need to heal the plague afterwards. Uh, 
And that's the part where we are completely getting overrun. Um, let's get out of here. Let's hope this was worth it. I entered that particular Boy, building twice. I'm alive. I don't know how to. I lost everything in this village. My whole company was killed. All I have left is this spear and my arms. Uh, you earned it. I'm going home to Tivessa. My life as a mercenary is over. I like it. Thank you. We don't need a spearman, but... Uh, thanks for the basic spear, uh, spear, I guess. Good. We're getting a bit more Valor. Unfortunately, some of us have contacted the disease. And we need to take care of that ASAP. So Town Hall is now clear after we... No, it's the wrong one. Uh, the Tavern is now clear after we tried going in there twice. It was the Town Hall, but never mind. Uh, we're definitely going to have one more fight. Willpower, that would be you. Got a little bit of wine. Nothing really going on over here. Except those hundred crowns. Thank you. Okay. And the last building will get us very well into another fight. Let's go, boys. Alright. One last time. We only have rats for the beginning. That is fantastic. Let's go. And... Take this corner here. Uh, we're disengaging and then we will get another point just for re-engaging. Another Vela point. Even if it's the red that is engaging us. Good. Finding our way out. Kill the rat, and we're good. Finding our way out. Kill the rat, and I think we're just going to stay here for now. Um, never forget find the way out. Noodle Keeper moves over. Stays here for a bit. But super efficient first round. Got a lot done. Everybody becomes orderly and we're just going over here.
All right, finding our way out. Fill up the valor completely. And the poison is not that relevant. Disengage, heal over here, so that the poison is immediately gone. And kind of move a little bit more over here. Good turn. Red was almost able to catch up with us. We're continuing to find our way out. Defensive stance. One, two. And that's the kill. Brings us to here. And we're now well protected. Finding our way out. Healing the poison. There will be more over here in a second, unfortunately. You can slow them down, but you cannot, like, slow them, them down so much that they won't be able to reach you. Which is okay, I guess. Oh, well. Uh, I'm wrong. We actually could. Good. That's a solid kill. And that might be a kill as well. Cool. Find your way out. Giving Gnome orderly, and I think we're just going to stay there. No need to waste Valor points on a single enemy. Find our way out. No one needs healing. Should have maybe waited a little bit longer with that. Slowing them down. That's okay. And we're getting more Valor. Who next? I think we could use our Rogue. Clean up a little bit. three people into blackout, two because you will die. And although we can't finish anyone else, I think that was good. Because those zombies might now simply miss. Miss means no poison uh, as well. But searching for a way out. That's not good. That's not good either. Don't want to uh, hit Murphy with his massive attack. Nope. Because Murphy would likely die on three hits. Yep, 
Disengage. Search for an exit. And poison everywhere. Alright, end of turn. We can't completely leave, but we're very close. We're very close. You need apparently 16 search for exits. So five people searched every single time, 15. convinced me just out of curiosity oh, that would be great being in here whatever let's get out I think we lost almost nothing that was the cleanest of all of the attempts and we're finally through the undead village Those things uh, really are taking their toll on uh, the uh, on the group. I think the forge was the last that we haven't yet checked. Mad. Okay, that's what we needed for the tree. Wait, wait, wait. Vault? Lord Major's Vault. 125 crowns. Okay, so there must be a vault somewhere here. Where would the Lord Major's Vault be? Potentially in the town hall, right? Down here, maybe? No. Maybe. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Maybe I'm over, uh, overly interpreting that. Cool. Protection skill, and we got a nice axe. The other vault could be over here. There wasn't much in the church to begin with. Nope. Nothing. Pretty sure there is a secret here, but I'm not getting it. Tavern. Last check here. You wouldn't build a vault in a tavern, though. No, nothing. All right, first village. Well, that was fun. Nice little ghost village here. And I think this wilderness area might lead to another zone. Nah, I don't want uh, to fight the wild hunt.
Uh, it could just be the edge of the map, to be honest. Yeah, look at that. It, it's just the edge of the map. Although that makes for a really cool hiding spot, doesn't it? Good. I think we're wrapping it up here, guys. I uh, will go to the uh, um, headquarter uh, to hopefully get the reward of uh, finishing the last of the Fate of um, Fate of Acupol quest lines, and then uh, we do have a few more tricks up our sleeve. We want to fight. The first of all, we need to get to the tree and activate it. Secondly, we want to fight the uh, unique boss. Haven't done that yet, and there is still a camp over here, isn't there? Anyways, I'll figure out the rest. Thanks for watching. I truly appreciate that. If you like pirate content in general and uh, the Pirates of Beleriand more specifically, then leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye bye.